lovely crew of uh, presenters here. We've got a nice chart for you on, on the budgets of past and what the budgets for the future look like. Uh, I sent out a press release earlier about uh, we actually added on one more year, uh, 15 and 16, for the first full year of implementation of the double tax. Uh, here in 2011, we had about a $198.7 million budget countywide. Taxes actually, or the uh, budget actually went down in 2012. Spending went down. Uh, state level for about three years. This year we're seeing a jump up to about $225 million. And this is pre-tax. This is pre-double tax. If the revenue, which they're talking about, uh, and, and the estimates are correct, we're looking at every year, collecting for eight years, $83.75 million. That will get to roughly about $650 million of revenue over eight years. If that continues, the next year would be $308 million. That is an expansion from, from FY 2011 of roughly 50%, almost. That's incredible, it's unheard of. It, it never happens, even in the federal government, even under President Obama and his liberal spending habits, the federal uh, uh, budget has really roughly increased about 13%. So this is unprecedented and unheard of. The problem occurs when you have this massive growth of government. What comes along with it are more government employees, bigger bureaucracy, more red tape, less jobs. That's the bottom line. We know it. When, when government grows, you need more employees to implement the spending of all these millions of dollars. And what does that mean for county taxpayers? It means health care costs, it means administrative costs, and it means more red tape and bureaucracy. And so when the folks in there, the special interest groups that are pushing this referendum, pushing this tax hike, talk about all this wonderful revenue, they don't talk about what it means to actually bring in these taxes and spend them. And that inevitably means a massive growth in government. Uh, and so AFP and our, our wonderful activists here tonight are opposed to this referendum tax hike. Uh, we're going to continue. The fight does not stop here tonight. Uh, we kind of know what's going to happen. We know that the county council has been sold a bit of a bill of goods on this. Uh, we're going to continue to be out knocking on doors and educating folks in the community, working with other organizations uh, to make sure that uh, you know, folks in Greenville County understand what's at stake here. And uh, we will also be taking a very strong look if this were to pass. We hope it doesn't. We're looking to stop it here at, uh, tonight and then possibly next in two weeks. Uh, if it does pass, uh, AFP is going to take a very strong look at, at how we can, um, we can stop this tax hike from being implemented. So uh, if you all have any questions, shout them at me. Um, any questions about the numbers, anything like that, let me know. Uh, but y'all have my contact information. Follow back up with it. Otherwise,